Hello my VIPers, Barb here from barbaderhold.closetomyheart.gov. This month you will be receiving a kit to make this card. The kit will look like this. All of your pieces will be inside of one of these little envelopes that holds cards. Um, you'll have the cutout letters, the vellum background, the geometric grid, a piece of, this is a pearlized paper, it's a specialty paper and I put that in there because I thought it just gave a little something something to the background of the card. You will also receive an envelope and one of our um, card bases. So. I'll show you how this is going to go together. So when you get your kit, you can pop this baby all together. This is what the kit looks like. Here are all of the pieces. Let's see. You can see that this paper here, I know we have copper ore and black ore. This is a pearl colored paper, but they don't call it pearl ore. I don't know why. The OCD in me is bothered by that, but it is what it is but very pretty. To get the colors, I'm using Distress Oxides. We have Candy Apple, Abandoned Coral, Spiced Marmalade, and Mustard Seed. And I have an ink blender. I have four of the little handles and a different sponge on each one of them. And remember, the sponges are replaceable, so you don't have to have a handle for each color you can just have your little spongy for each color. So let's get started. Let's take a piece of watercolor paper. This is a big sheet that we have and I cut it into four pieces. So first we'll start with candy apple and we're doing a bit of an ombre. Let's move this over. And I'm just giving it a rubber root. Just rub, rub, rub trying to get real nice coverage because we will be using this to die cut. And it does die cut the snakes quite nicely. And we'll try Abandoned Coral here. As you can tell, this is my favorite color combination. I haven't found another one that I'm really loving. Though the Abandoned Coral is new to me. I was just able to get this. These Distress Oxides come in and out of availability. Here we have Spiced Marmalade, orangey, yellowy, golden color. And then Mustard Seed. Get the phone going in the background. Thanks. They'll leave a message if it's important. Take the blenders and just go over and try to blend out the colors. So we get a smooth transition. As I was saying, the uh, distress oxides come in and out of availability. So if you're interested in them, I do get a notification when some of those items come back into stock. So if that's something that you're interested in and you'd like me to let you know, just shoot me an email or message me and I will let you know and we will get that figured out for you. I'm gonna put the lids back on. And then I would take this to my die cut machine and run it through. So you take the, this is the thanks, it's a, it's a layer. As you can see here is the vellum part. This is the, what do we call this, the shadow layer. So I did it out of vellum because I wanted you to be able to really see that grid die cut behind. So this is one I've already cut, you can see they're in there. And they are detached, so these letters, um, they're beautiful, I love the font. So you just take this and you go and you run it through your die cut machine. And through the magic of me having done this ahead of time, 
I'm going to take my pokey tool and poke these out and get these letters to come out of the thin cut. that pretty? Oh, I just love that. Then you take this and you glue them onto the shadow. And I'm not going to make you struggle watching me try to glue, but that's how that looks when you attach them. And they just fit right on there. And you glue these onto here. And then this gets put on here. And I am going to cheat a little bit and use a little glue because it's fast. You take your card base, make sure it lines up and it should just fine. They're cut at four and a quarter by five and a half, I do believe. Let's do a little measuring. Yep, four and a quarter by five and a half. So you're, you're typically two size. Flip the grid over, put your glue on the back. You don't have to glue every little bit. I tend to hit the highlights in the middle. And go and I'm just gonna put this down on here and you'll get all of these pieces and a link to this video I will email you the link obviously if you're watching this you will see the email here's the trick with this flip it over and I'm putting glue behind where the letters are it hides the adhesive and that's all you have to do just get a little glue on the back of there just like that and you can put it wherever you want I'm putting it here and then I usually grab look I have this gigantic block here sit it on there Squish it down a little bit so that that glue can really grab. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching the video. And I hope you enjoy your little VIP special gift. Um, this video will eventually be public. But for a little while, you guys will have private access to it. Thank you so much for stopping by. Have a blessed and crafty day. And I will see you next time.